Hi everybody, uh, I'm popping this out on a Tuesday, sort of off schedule or old schedule if you like, because this video is more of a sort of a channel announcement kind of thing, but it's not strictly relevant to the main channel. Now, let me explain. I've been away for a couple of weeks. Uh, me and my wife were in Venice. Yes, it was lovely. Yes, it was wet. Uh, while we were there, I recorded a podcast with Andy, uh, Five Channels Mac, as we call him, and it's something I've been meaning been meaning to do for a while and I've been thinking about it for a while but as, as a result of that conversation and as a result of a bit of chat and feedback with my Patreon supporters and thank you for everybody who, who is a Patreon supporter of this channel um, I've decided to start a second channel um, now the reason for that is that uh, nothing's going to change with this channel it's still, still going to be woodworking and workshop type stuff but I've got lots to say and lots to share about other things, um, whether that's photography and cameras and video making or just travel sort of vlog type stuff. Um, uh, and I, I want to share some of that, but it, this channel isn't the appropriate place for it. What happens is that the YouTube algorithm kind of plows a furrow for you and we, we plow a furrow for ourselves to a certain extent. But if you try and step out of that furrow, then the algorithm doesn't really know what to do with you. Um, this has happened when I did my experimental sort of Wednesday workshop little videos from last year, I think, where they don't they, they play reasonably well to my existing subscribers, but they don't, they don't go out of the channel. They don't they don't work well because YouTube, the algorithm doesn't know how to promote them, doesn't know how to, who to recommend them to because it's it's different to what I normally produce. Uh, and because of that, I've decided to start a, a second channel. It's called A Maker's Eye because as carpenters, cabinet makers, makers generally, we tend to look at things from a slightly different perspective. We might be more interested if you go and visit a city in, in how the city works in the infrastructure. Uh, and that's the sort of thing that I'm concentrating on to a large extent in these travel vlogs. Also, you know, <laughs> lots of travel vlogs seem, seem to be a, a thin excuse to have video of slender young women in swimwear. Um, there'll, there'll be none of that, unfortunately, on these, on these vlogs. Uh, but if that sounds like the sort of thing uh, you might like, well, I'll tell you what, I, I've got one video on one trailer. This is a, a completely fresh out of the box, brand new channel. Uh, one video, one trailer, no views and no subscribers. So let me run a quick clip of that now uh, and see if that's the sort of thing you might like. Morning. Not your usual week in the workshop today. Because I'm somewhere else. I'm just walking to the end of my road. There we are at the minute. To show you something. <laughs> and it's the Aqua Alta, the high tide. We haven't seen this in daylight before. But it's actually this, where we are on the Desert Jura. It's pretty sheltered. But uh, at the end of our street, which oh, yeah. almost never gets wet. It's uh, yeah, <laughs> a good, uh, certainly deeper than I'm going to dive through in the trainers. Um, so yes, uh, they sell these temporary galoshes. And you can see why at the end of the street there. Uh, the, the infrastructure is such that the edge of the canals are always picked out in white because if this was dark, you wouldn't know where the pavement ended and the canals began. So yeah, we've literally got a, a gondola parked at the end of our road, which is floating above street level. So yeah, <laughs> all part of Venice life, you just bring your wellies with you. Uh, if we go to the other end of the road, we've been here for a couple of weeks, we come to Venice every year, and we've never stayed more than four nights, I think. So we've been here for a couple of weeks, uh, we go back this week. Uh, in fact, by the time you see this video, uh, we'll be back. But we were here in Easter, at Easter. Uh, it was the Aqua Alta, but it happened at night then. This is the first time we've seen Aqua Alta during daytime. And over the last few days, it's, the tide's been high. Um, it's about 10.30 in the morning now. 
we're just going to the other end of the road. Yeah, it's pretty high. <laughs> Definitely need your boots if you're going far today. So, as always, pitching your tent on high ground <laughs> seems to be a pretty good idea. A lot of the ground floor properties aren't used here in Venice, or if they are, they have these uh, flood barriers as its first floor, so we don't have a flood barrier uh, in the way here. So yes, uh, a couple of weeks in Venice, it was very, very interesting, and we happened to be there for the for the aqua alta, the high water. Um, one of the other things I wanted to do in this channel as well is get away from the whole 10 minute thing, because some of these videos are, are getting longer, I have more to say, and I don't want to artificially restrict them to, to a 10 minute video as well. So uh, this one's about 20 minutes long, it, it covers just the period of, of a couple of days before the high tide, and the day after, we were leaving the day after that. So it, it sort of has a very <laughs> finite end point. Uh, but go and, go and check that out. See if that's the kind of thing you might like. If you do, then give the channel a follow. Give it a, a subscribe to the channel. I'm not sure how frequently I'm going to be putting out content on that channel. So best bet is to subscribe to it. Then you'll be notified uh, whenever I put out something new. If you hit the bell and you do need to have notifications turned on for that to work, obviously. Um, but that's, that's kind of where we are, a uh, normal Content will resume on this channel on Friday, probably with planers and thicknesses and stuff like that. Uh, but there will be a lot more of the Venice stuff coming through on A Maker's Eye, my second channel. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, comments enabled here and, of course, on that video as well. Uh, that's it, though, for this uh, shorter Tuesday video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.